Good evening, everybody. We begin tonight with just some terrible news, just awful. Widefield graduate Vincent Jackson was found dead today in a Florida hotel. He was only 38 years old. Jackson was found dead late this morning. Florida police are saying that there wasn't any apparent signs of trauma. They are still trying to determine the cause of death. Now, according to reports, Jackson checked into the hotel on January 11th and he'd been staying there the entire time. His family reported him missing last week, but police located him at the same hotel. Jackson was a self-made football player, not highly recruited out of wide field. He went to Northern Colorado and ended up getting drafted by the Chargers in the second round of the 2005 draft. In all, he played 12 seasons in the NFL for the Chargers and Buccaneers. He was a pro bowler three times off the field. He also did wonderful things for military families here in Southern Colorado and in the Tampa, Florida area as well. With his charity, Jackson in Action 83 Foundation. When he attended Widefield, he carried a 4.0 grade point average. We spoke with one of Vincent Jackson's high school football coaches today, Fred Majerison, and he says the Widefield community is grieving tonight. It's shocking, you know, it makes you feel numb. He, he brought a lot of uh, pride to our community and our school, and so uh, kids aren't supposed to go away before, before you, and so that, it just makes it tough. It makes it tough to think about, and, you know, I, I, I feel sick for his parents, and uh, I just, it, it's a sad day for, for us. And we want to give our most heartfelt condolences to the Jackson family and to the Widefield community as well.